everybody, it's Bleak Bone, and today I'm coming at you from the Reptile Room. It's February, and it's time to show you what we got. So let's get right into it. So let's start with Cersei. There she is, the beautiful pinstripe ball python. She's hanging out, look at the camera here, smelling it. But yeah, she's doing great. She's about two feet long right now. And uh, she's in a 20 gallon long with a 20 gallon long Zoomed tank. Um, water source, lots of burrows, a little hide, hide. She hides underneath the water dish. Somewhere to climb, we got a heat light. We got a little heat pad underneath. And uh, I got these nice little tags now. They're not perfectly on straight, but they're just taped on. But eventually I want to do some nice Velcro ones on the on the tanks themselves, but there you guys go. Here she is, she's coming out to say hello. She thinks she's getting fed. You can see how big she is getting. Ah, she's beautiful. But she's very personable of a snake. She just comes out, says hello, way more. She's really just coming out hoping we're feeding her. But yeah, her tank's uh, pretty low maintenance, pretty small. She just kind of hangs out, oh, there she goes. Decided I'm not giving her food, so she's just gonna leave. Back to sleep. Okay. We'll jump up from Cersei over to Morpheus and his friendly band of zebra danios that kind of just hang out with him. Let's see how he's doing. I'm getting a lot of glare today. But Morpheus is a double tail Pacat uh, beta. He is red, black, blue. Sometimes he's a little bit different colors than that. But he's in a little community tank. He's far slower than these Danios, so he just kind of chases him around if he wants, but he's pretty laid back. Um, I'm letting a lot of the uh, plant matter start growing. I added a bunch of frog bit, and I'm just letting this tank go wild. Just do minor water changes. I want to see what happens. These plants just keep sprouting and sprouting and sprouting, so I think something's working. Same thing with those... Uh, uh, what do they call them? Those uh, Java ferns there, and then the Nubius. That Nubius is upside down. I don't know how that happened. Placosimus. It's in here somewhere. I just added cherry shrimp to this tank finally. I bet they're all eaten by now, but maybe. Maybe they'll be alive, and I'll see some big cherries running around. <laughs> they think I'm going to feed them. I already fed you guys. Yeah, it's a pretty simple 10 gallon tank. Um, beyond that, we'll move over to one of our newest additions. And he doesn't have a name tag yet. He is a little pixie frog named Gitrog. And I, some food for him. Oh, I just scared him a little bit. So I'm gonna see if I can get him to eat in front of camera. But if anyone's ever had a pixie frog, they know they will always eat. So I got this little thing of roaches here. I don't think you got it. You ain't got that one. The bigger one's getting away. Oh. Yep, you're kind of bad. <laughs> uh, he'll eventually catch him. He just kind of waits till they walk towards him, anyways. Maybe I'll throw this big one back. Oh. Come on. That's a leaf. Come on, little truck. Yeah, yeah, you got him. Good boy. We'll leave him alone. He's he's still really young, but he's eating really good, which is great. He's gonna way outgrow this tank someday. Well, someday really soon. I'm hoping he doubles in size in the next couple months. Well, I'm right now I'm just feeding him roaches as kind of the main part of his diet and he'll eat crickets and pretty much anything you throw in front of him just make sure it's not too fatty um, you want to give a little bit of calcium so not like a little uh, mouse pup uh, pup what are they called once in a while you'll feed him a mouse but not too terribly often 
Um, the pinky, that's what they're called. But we'll move up to the next tank, which is the second red or cherry shrimp grow out tank. I am getting a lot of glare. Um, nothing really major going on in this one. Cherries are doing pretty darn good. There is some ghost shrimp in here now, but they're uh, kind of food for the get or for the one of the newest additions to the reptile room, which I will get to towards the end. So stay tuned. You got to see him. He's one of my favorites. If if you follow my channel at all, you already know what he is. Um, but those who don't and just tune in for my reptile rooms, you guys are gonna be greatly surprised. There's a ghost shrimp up there. I'm on to this tank here. Is kind of just another cherry shrimp tank, nothing major happening here. This one's a five gallon, this is about a gallon. And they're just to pretty much hold my cherry shrimp. Uh, I wanna get a couple of colonies going. But we'll move over to the next main inhabitant of the reptile room. This is Ziggy's tank. Ziggy is a uh, Pac-Man frog. You can see I made a nice little uh, handy dandy thing there so I don't have to explain everything every time. And this is a 20 gallon high uh, aquarium converted into a vivarium. Um, I replanted it, if you guys haven't noticed. Um, I was kind of getting sick of those larger plants, kind of crowding out everything. So I decided, well, screw it. I'm going to plant some ferns in here instead and keep the ground, or keep the height lower so you can see in there better. But as you guys can see, Ziggy has been hiding in the spot where I dug out one of the plants. It's his new favorite little hidey hole. So he hasn't come out too much, but I don't expect it this time of year. He Last, time, last year he did about the same thing where he would kind of burrow down, hang out in the substrate a lot, and then like a couple months later, he would uh, come out like crazy. We'll jump down to the next tank um, below him. This is Gitrog's eventual new home. It is a 10 gallon polydarium. As you guys can see, there's plenty of water for him. Once he gets bigger, he'll want to spend a lot of his time in the water. And you guys can see there's pothos, many different plants. I'm just letting this thing grow and grow and grow. It is actually looking pretty darn cool. If I can get a clear spot. Kinda, yeah, there we go. It's really looking cool. Those uh, bromeliad pups that I planted in here are doing great. I'm really surprised. This tank looks really good and I don't do anything to it. I don't even hardly water it. I just raise the water level down here once in a while. It's pretty much a contained ecosystem at this point. With growing moss, growing ferns, it is really looking good. So, all I got down here is the aquarium light with a, a, a fish bulb on it, and that's it. What are you doing? You know, I'm talking about your future home. He you dug in a little bit. But we'll uh, keep moving. Ignore the 10 gallon or 1 gallon <laughs> tank on the floor there. Over to this rack. Yeah, I got my misting system, and then I got my main cherry shrimp display, a cherry soccer mountain, or whatever you want to call it. It is, it needs a little trimming. It's uh, kind of a little bushy. But the moss is growing good, so I haven't really cared to back it off, because if you look closely, there's hundreds and thousands of tiny little babies all over in that moss on the glass. It's great ecosystem for them and I'm not gonna mess with it too much see, I never get a really good I need to get a new camera guys so uh, one of these days I can have some nice clear videos we'll move on to Floki's tank and wow, I'm getting a lot of glare what's what is up with the camera today we both did it at a slight angle uh, say hello Floki Floki is a uh, dragon scale half moon beta and uh, I've had him as my longest fish at this point. Man, I am not going to be able to see through that. Maybe if I... Oop. Oop. But uh, yeah, this is a little five gallon tank, planted a tank. It's, all the plants are doing pretty good, except uh, they've kind of grown crazy on the top. And I have a little bit of snail infestation, but they ate all the aphids. So, I don't know, maybe it's not so bad. They're eating a couple leaves, but I do try to feed them. Oh, here he comes. How you doing, folks? How you doing? Hey buddy, old pal. But, we won't spend too much time, I got a lot left to do. On to Taddeus' tank. And he's been coming out more often, but he is hiding right now. I have the glare of glare problems. Let me turn on the backlight, maybe it won't be so bad. 
I don't know. It might have just made it worse. Hmm. Normally I don't have this problem, but maybe it's just darker in here. Um, normally not a problem, but yeah, this is a... Taddeus is a Dendrobates Tinctorus Powdered Blue, or better known as a Dying Poison Dark Frog. He is about... He's going on a year old. I grew him from a tadpole, and he's doing great. He eats like a champ, and he actually is not afraid of me anymore. So if I put some fruit flies in there, he'd probably come out for you guys. But you guys can watch another video. I have him plastered all over this channel now, or on my Instagram and Facebook if you want to follow me there. But we'll jump over to these guys, which I'm going to open the front glass here, because I see one. Let's see if you guys can see him. There he is, right. Oh, and he's gone. But these guys are Molder and Scully. They are Rantiomea inter Intimate. I can never say it. Rantiomea Im Imitator Intermedius, which is technically a hybrid of two other ones, but I'm not going to put it past them. And I think we got a male and a female, but I won't know for sure until. They get a little tiny bit older, which they should be getting to that point soon. But they're so secretive. I never hear any calling, but none of them are round like a female, so I don't know. We'll jump up to Casey. He is a East African spiny-tailed lizard, or a Cordillus tropos <laughs> docinum. I'll never be able to say that, but he always hides right in his log. He comes out when I'm not here, because he just doesn't like me. I've had him for 17 years now, and he has never been, he has not been in this tank for 17 years, but he's been in that log for like 17 years. He just loves it. It's his little home. It's where he always felt safe. Um, I do need to clean up some of his poop, but the tank is looking, the plants are staying alive. The cactus is actually growing, and it's doing pretty good. I don't do much for the watering. I feed him a little bit here and there, since he doesn't need a lot. He's a desert lizard, well, an arboreal step lizard but you get the point he's they don't need to have a ton of food once they reach adulthood they just need to be fed once in a while I feed them about often as I do Ziggy so a couple every other couple days um, if I had crickets I'd throw a bunch in there but they crickets end up eating all your plants and eh, I'd throw roaches in there too but I feel like they'd climb out on that false back or that uh, background but we'll jump over to my newest um, well, one of the newest creatures in the tank, and if you guys seen my last video, there he is. He is a, I got a tag somewhere around here, but he is a anglerfish, frogfish, or um, whatever you want to call him, but he's a wart skin, at least he was supposed to be a wart skin. It's a good side view if I can get the camera to focus on him. But he looks like a sponge right now, but there you guys go. That, this guy is going to need a name. And I want your guys' help to help me name him. Um, I, I put it in the last video when I first showed everybody, but I wanted to put it in this video too to get the people that only watch my um, reptile room videos to actually have a shot of getting the name. This guy, and if you guys only watch my reptile room videos, could you please subscribe? Because I'd love to keep showing you guys different little updates here and there if you haven't subscribed already but this is my 10 gallon nano reef and it needs a little bit of cleaning I got a little bit of algae growth but I figured it's not too bad and I'd give you guys a little show this is fastly becoming one of my favorite tanks because the coral are just as cool as the fish you can see it head popping out right there um, I got a short little video clip of him eating a shrimp I don't know how well it's gonna show up and a clip of him yawning and I'll post those right now
those are cool weren't they so let's keep moving um, this tank has two power heads one small one up there one larger one over there to keep the flow up it's still probably not enough because I'm getting a little brown hair algae um, in the back I have a small hang on back filter with some filter floss for now but this tank will eventually be hooked up to this tank as the sump and in this tank I have uh, a peppermint shrimp that I believe if I can get it focused focus that I believe has finally given birth so there's probably a bunch a little baby shrimp all over in that tank um, oh, there it goes there. the male I haven't seen in a day but I do have also have a a really angry uh, what you call it in there a really angry gorilla crab uh, it's gonna be food for the unnamed um, warty, wart skinned angler fish. They don't really move much. If you ever had an angler fish, just kind of sit and wait. But when there's food in there, man, he is on it. But yeah, I wanted to breed these guys and keep them in here. He would have eaten them by now if they were in the display. So good thing I moved them. Um, but they'll have hopefully have some nice little babies, and I'll have a ton of food for this guy. Because I really don't want to feed them um, too many of my fish, but I'm going to have to feed him fish once in a while. He hasn't taken frozen since that one initial day, so he must have been really hungry. But we'll move over to the last one up here in the reptile room, and that is Khaleesi, the beautiful giant bearded dragon. <laughs> she's not actually giant, she's just a regular central. Um, she's hanging out. Her tank needs a little cleaning, so ignore that. Um, we're going to get sand in here. I am sick of the tile, sick of the paper towels. Um, it's just not working out for this. So we're going to redo that soon. Hopefully in the next month or two when tax season comes around, we'll do a nice big old makeover for her tank. And she'll be much happier. I want to make a little higher so she can get a little closer to the UVB bulb, a little closer to the heat light. And then just it just looks kind of... It needs some work, but we'll get around to it. Um... She's going to be, she's only going to be a year old, she's going to be a year old soon, um, down in the end of April, May, so she's going to be pretty much full grown soon, she's looking if I have food. But, I digress, she's doing great, she's about 18 inches long, she's in a 40 gallon um, Zoomed tank with a slide on top, I wish it had hand doors in the front. Because the open top is not as easy, especially with our slanted wall here. It's not, not very useful to get into. And then we'll jump over to the blank spot. Um, there's going to be a surprise in the next couple days. That's going to go right there. Not permanently, but it's going to go right there. And you guys are going to love it. So if you guys want to guess down in the comments what's going to show up in that empty spot, please leave a comment. Um, but we're going to have one last tank that's not in the reptile room that we're going to go to a quick update on. Um, so hang on and I'll just do a quick 360 and we'll be over there. This is the last tank I want to show you guys. As you guys can see, I've walled it off because the cat just will not leave it alone. So I'm gonna have to do something about that. But we'll break down the barrier and uh, we'll see if you guys notice some new stuff. Well, besides, I've added a couple chubs in here. I'm not gonna pull them all down, but I'm gonna move. We couldn't keep this cat away from this tank. But uh, there's E.T. E.T. is a central mud minnow and he is probably the friendliest little minnow you'd ever see. He comes up and greets me every day. If you guys want to see a video of him when I first got him, you can, there's, it's on my channel somewhere. But yeah, he's a, it's my secret little tank. But I got some chubs in here and I'll explain why. Those are potential future food for 
potential future food for the frogfish. Um, I'm not sure how well they'll, how long they'll survive in salt water, but I wanted to have some backup food just in case he, or if I ran out of food or something, since I live so far out in the boonies, it's hard to get food in a timely manner, so I wanted some backup food ready, and I have four chubs in here. I'll, I won't feed E.T. because he's just too darn cool. But this was going to be for an axolotl. We might still be, but for right now we got a little harem of minnows. <laughs> but yeah, it's only a little 10 gallon tank on my kitchen. But that is the last tank, so thank you guys for watching this video up till now. If you have, please like, subscribe, comment down below on what you think my new pet's going to be. Also comment down below if you want to have your chance at naming the frogfish. Um, I've already had a few couple interesting uh, um, names on the other video, so if you have anything cool, please leave them down here and I'll let you guys know what I choose in a later video. Um, but this is Bleakborn. Um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time.